Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. In today's video I will show you how to upgrade your HP 8100, 8200, 8300 and a like with a low profile video card for gaming. Alright guys, let's get to it. So here's a quick comparison shot. This is a full size, full height video card and this one is a low profile, right? And here let me show you. So you have to make sure that you do not buy this one the regular height one because it's not gonna fit. You can see there's about a couple inches difference there, right? So we just have to make sure we get the proper height one. Now keep in mind, some of these video cards come with plates that you can swap out. So you can sometimes use it both as regular height and a low profile like this one, right? So you just have to make sure that you get the right size, right? Of course, in the description below, I will provide a link to a really good uh, video card that I think works best for this type of system. All right, now let's get to it. In order to pop this open, we just push this, pull this up and remove the lid real quick. Put that aside. Now, we're gonna be installing this one, right? We're gonna be installing it like so, right? We're gonna install this video card like so. But let me show you something. Here's a full-size video card, right? Not only is it too long, it's just too tall, right? So, comparatively speaking, this is how much it would stick out, right? So whenever you try to put the, whenever you try to put the lid back, it'll be literally sitting like this over top of it, right? So that's not gonna work. So this is why we're gonna put this one aside and now we got the proper size that we're going to install right here, right? Now, keep in mind, before you purchase, before you purchase one of these, make sure that it does not have requirement for external or additional power source or power adapter, right? So this one actually does. So in this case, I'm going to need an adapter to make it work. But this is why I'm going to put a link in the description box below to the type of video card that you don't need uh, additional power. So you just basically you just put it in and then you're done with it, right? You just install the drivers, you know, and then you're done. The one I'm going to put in the description box below is probably the best one you can buy right now for low profile, and that would be NVIDIA GTX 1050, right? They have a 1050 Ti version, but GTX 1050 is probably one of the best ones you can get for this type of computer, right? And this computer power supply is rated at 240 watts. Those other video cards are rated at 300, right? So, but you know, most of the people actually have really good luck with it. And even if one of these power supplies goes out, let's say within a year, they're only around $30 to replace, right? So from what I hear from majority of people, those type of uh, cars that, you know, require around 300 watts actually run really well in these type of computers, at least for a long time, right? All right, let's get to installing this one. So in order to install this, we're just gonna flip this back, right? Now we just have to kind of judge where our video card is going to go, right? So in our case, it's going to go into the black slot right here, right? It really doesn't make a huge difference. Uh, they're both 16 times PCI Express slots, right? So it really doesn't matter which one you insert this in, right? But we're gonna insert in this one because we need, uh, you know, a little bit more space, right? So in this case, I'm just gonna remove this back plate here, all right? I'm just gonna remove that, toss that aside, and then we're going to insert our video card, right? You just have to be careful, don't force or rush anything. There's really no need, okay? Well, I'm gonna move a camera so you guys can see a little bit better. So from here, it's actually really simple. You see how this aligns, right? You see these notches on the connector down here, how they align with this, for example, this white slot. We're gonna be using the one back here because we need more space. But you see how the notch is aligned, right? You can clearly see that we have to make sure that this is aligned properly, right, to this. So as long as this notch is aligned to there, then we're good to go. But again, we're gonna do it on the back one, right? Because we don't have enough space here. So we're just gonna do it on the back one, you know? Make sure everything is aligned, like so. You can see how the notch is aligned, make sure it's aligned, align it, align your card into the slot, let it drop in, right? You just kind of make sure it's dropped in. And then once you know it's aligned perfectly, just give it a little push down. And then it will go all the way down and be fully seated. Now you're ready to go, right? Now let me show you something from another angle. 
Now here's something people don't talk about often. Whenever you insert these in the back here where the black plate is, there's a little notch right there that you have to make sure that this back plate actually inserts into first, right? A lot of times these back plates are a little bit bent. Now let me show you what I mean. So when I take this video card out, there's a little notch in here, right? And this part of it here, this part of it here is supposed to go in here, right? Sometimes people try to force it and it could then it goes against the motherboard and you can damage your motherboard a little bit there. But sometimes you just have to bend a little bit here to make sure it fits in here nicely, right? You see how it actually goes into that little gap, right? And otherwise we won't be able to push it all the way down like so, right? And then once you're done with inserting your video card, all you gotta do is push this back like so and then you're done. You can close your computer down, your computer lid, and then you're done. Again, guys, there will be a link, an affiliate link in the description box below from Amazon for a GTX 1050. Guys, I really hope you enjoy this video, and not only that, your computer, your awesome small form factor computer, and you can do some awesome gaming with it, right? It's a really good gaming machine, as long as you put a decent video card in it, right? All right, guys, thank you so much. I wish you best of luck. Bye-bye.